Hi everyone, long time no see. Uh, I don't think anyone's seen me since I got my hair cut and I got highlights in it too, but that was like six months ago and it's already so long compared to how it used to be. I need to get it cut again. Also, I'm having a no makeup morning, so I hope you don't mind, but I'm starting my Project Plan 2022 intro today. It's the 1st of December today and I wanted to start it today because I felt like it. I think it would be fun to have an extra month of progress in it. And I'm also really bored right now, so I'll start off with the two probably most boring products. They're both face products and they're both opaque. So you can't really track progress on them, but I'm going to weigh them. So the first one is this Laneige Glowy Makeup Serum. This is the only primer I have and it weighs 95 grams. I think I'm about halfway through, but I'm not sure. I think this is really nice. It feels super fancy, like I feel really fancy when I apply it, but I don't think it's really necessary. It gives a bit of a glow, but not a crazy glow. So that's why I'm putting it in the project. The next item is this foundation. It's the Shiseido Synchro Skin Self Refreshing Foundation and I have the shade 130 Opal. This isn't my perfect shade match. It's kind of off. It's not anything crazy and it's very expensive for what it is. Uh, I have no idea how much I've used out of this. I've had it since last December, so I've probably used quite a bit of it. But I really can't tell. Like, there's no way to tell at all. I've tried putting it in hot water. It didn't work, so I... I don't know, I guess we'll just see and we'll track their weights and see how much they go down each month. Now onto some more exciting stuff. I have cheek products. So the first one is this Fenty Cream Bronzer at the shade Macchiato. Of course the goal would be to hit Pam, which there is a pretty decent dip in it. I also want to see if I can finish it. I'm not sure if I'll be able to do it in a year, but I'll try it. Next I have blush. This is the MAC Glow Play blush in the shade So Natural. Normally it's a convex shade like when you first get it but now you can see it's concaved in. I have actually hit pan on this like four times but I keep mushing it around and you can actually see the ring of the bottom of the product and my goal is to try finish this. I've had this for a few months and it was my only blush for those few months so I made pretty good progress on it because of that. So I'm going to try to finish it within the next year. Even though I really, really like the color, the color is super nice. There's no lasting powder of it. It fades so, so fast. Next, I just put this in just to track progress. It's the Nabla Skin Glazing Highlight in the shade Amnesia. I got this a few months ago. I don't even want to hit pan on it. It's my only highlight. I just want to see if there's going to be a change in progress every month. Then moving on to eyes. I'll start with the boring thing first. So I have this Glossier Play Eyeliner in Brac. I don't really like this because I use it on to tight line and it doesn't even last like that. I think it fades off very fast. So I have this much left. I marked it on this sheet. I marked it from, I think, here. So I'll keep updating on that. But now onto something fun. I guess I'm kind of doing a Panda palette. So this is the Sailor Moon Colourpop palette. And I'm going to try, well, I'll show you what I've done already. So this is what it looks like currently. I've rearranged it and I've finished one shade and I've hit pan on five others. I want to try finish these six over here. These ones, I don't wear these colors, so I'm not too bothered about them. But I want to completely finish these six, which I mean, you can see these ones are almost gone. That's also another reason why I started this early, because I myself was trying to finish these two by the end of this year. So I said, why not video it, you know? So I'm very excited about it. And sorry, it's really dirty. I'll clean it up for next time because next time is kind of the official start. Then finally onto lips, we have the MAC lip pencil in the shade Dervish. I have this much left. I've also marked it on the sheet. I think I could get through this. I, I mean, you can only go down to like here because once you put the cap on, you're not going to be able to get it back off. So really, I've only that much left, which I think is very doable for this next year. The last product that we have is the Glossier Generation G in the shade Like. I have this much left. And I think I could definitely finish it pretty soon. You can see, yeah, that's what it looks like on the inside. That's everything in my project plan. I'm really excited to start it. I really love these videos, so I'm super excited to, you know, be a part of them. And sorry if during the video I kept looking at my phone screen because I'm recording on my phone. Normally I use the back camera, but I try to use the front camera because it's so annoying to set off your back camera because you just can't see what's happening in it. But anyways, who cares? But yeah, thank you so much for watching if you made it to the end. Bye.